Food banks are feeling the supply chain crunch, much like what we're seeing at grocery stores with bare shelves and high prices. News 3 reporter Ellen Ice joins us live from a food bank in Norfolk. So, Ellen, what are you seeing? Well, food here at the Jordan Newby branch on Park Avenue is still available. I want to step out of the way and show you now. This is a pretty cool setup. They actually have it set up like a grocery store where folks can come in, grab a bag and grab what they need. But where this food is coming from has changed. We rely tremendously on our retail partners for donated food. That's one of our key sources of product that we, we hand out to those who are food insecure. They don't have the products to donate to us. So that's the, the trickle effect of the supply chain crunch across the country. Bob Latvis with the Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia and the Eastern Shore says donations from major retailers have dried up due to grocery store shelves being empty. So what do they do now? They buy it themselves. And with inflation being high, the nonprofit's budget is taking a huge hit. Just a few years ago, whether that was $13 for a case of corn, We've found that has doubled in the past three years, and that's now $26 for a case of corn. That's not the only problem. It's also taking two to three times longer to actually receive the goods. What we used to see as a two-week delivery time is now turning into a five, six-week time frame. Latvis says food insecurity has skyrocketed since the pandemic. And when winter weather hits, their food pantries get hit hard too. Right now, he says they're preparing their partner agencies for a big couple of days. We see the same rush on food as you see in a grocery store. And if you're wondering how you can help, head to our website, WTKR.com. Live in Norfolk, Ellen Ice, News 3.